Hello, Pseudonym here with a quick video showing you how to edit your Vampire Survivors game save file without using any kind of third-party programs. Okay, now depending on which version of the game you have, uh, your save file will either be in C users whatever your username is, app data, which is a hidden folder. You need to be able to uh, turn on hidden items. This is Windows 11. A couple of the steps are different for Windows 10. Just look up how to enable uh, hidden folders in Windows 10. And it'll either be, if you're just playing the regular version of the game, uh, not the beta. It could be in Vampire Survivors saves. This is where if the, the standard version save data file is at. However, if you're playing the beta, uh, earlier it was vampire underscore survivors underscore data and it was in there. Now the folder is called vampire survivors underscore these numbers. And this is where my current save data file is at. So depending on which version of the game, it may be located a little bit in a little different location. But this is where my current beta file is at. So once you find your save data, if you were to open it up with Notepad, you see all this. If you were to attempt to edit your coins, see I only have 3,000 coins. If you were to attempt to edit this, and save this, it's not going to work. You're going to get an error, and then uh, sometimes it resets everything. So you don't want to do that. So all you're going to do is go Control F, and you're going to look for checksum in the down direction. Once you find checksum, there's going to be this hash between the quotation marks. You delete the hash, and then you can, I mean, you can actually edit, you can do this in either direction. You could have edited your coins first if you wanted to. It's just don't save until you remove the checksum value, and you don't run the game. So let's just change this to a bunch of nines, and now save. Now, before we go running the game, you're going to want to go to Command Prompt. In the command prompt, you're going to want to go to the same folder. So we'll go to app data, we go to roaming, and we go to vampire survivors 7120278 for me. And then now we're going to run a little file that comes with. Windows called cert util and then you're going to put space minus hash file space save data dot save space sha256 and it's going to spit out this hash in Windows 11 you'd go mark and then once it's highlighted control C and then when we go back to our save data and we go find that checksum area uh, which is going to take me a second to find it it's right here somewhere there it is we're going to paste that new hash in there and then now we can save it and now when we run the game it's not going to error it's going to go in and we'll see that we have a lot of coins you can edit anything in the file just afterwards you run that command on the command line 
you put the new hash in the checksum area, save the file, and that's it. That is how you edit the save game files for vampire survivors. I hadn't seen this anywhere else, so I thought I'd make a quick video about how to do it. And there you go. I will be adding more videos. This is my first video I've ever made. Uh, I'll be doing some Let's Plays and other things here soon. Peace out. <laughs>